Hello, it's been having a bag of that action. We have it. We have Melanie's brand new album, Portals. It is here, Portals in Capitals. I am very keen to go with this album. A very anticipated album cover. As we know, look, Stana, Rama, all that jazz, honestly. She looks incredible. It makes perfect sense that the album is all flowery and spring vibes because Anna Luisa is sponsoring this video. Honestly, the perfect timing for Melanie and Anna Luisa to come together. In case you didn't notice, I've got a beer in my neck, I've got a ring on my finger, and I've got a bracelet on my wrist. Anna Luisa have sent me some stuff and they want Want me to tell you guys about their spring sale. They have a buy one, get 40% off. Not only that, they are giving you guys the opportunity to get 20% off your entire order when you use the code BENCHOUTS20. Now I'm gonna show you the stuff they sent me close up and I also, I guess, wanna talk about the benefits of them and why I think they're awesome and you guys might do as well. The jewelry not only is at affordable prices, but it's crafted to a high quality. They are a carbon neutral company from the packaging to the products. They really do care about the planet, which for me really aligns and makes me wanna invest in them. While they are making products, they're doing it from the best, you know, sustainable. Way. The designs are unique, they make you feel empowered and elegant. I'm someone who likes really simplistic stuff. So when I saw the products, I was like, oh my god, it's just so simple. You can dress it up, dress it down, etc. I know that's a cliche thing to say, however, I really do believe it. You know, I wore this to a wedding. Got lots of compliments to my B. I did point it out to everyone. I'm like, look at my necklace, look at my necklace, and everyone thought it was sick. However, I just love the simplicity of it all. The high quality, the affordability, the sustainability, the versatility. I mean, what more can they give us? They also do super, super speedy delivery. I got it within like less than a week, which for me living in Australia coming from New York. I mean, I think that's pretty impressive in itself. Best thing about it for me is that it's quite gender neutral. Obviously, there are some elements that may be more feminine. However, it really doesn't matter who wears what. The pieces I got to choose, like even this one with the little diamonds on, just so elegant, so cute. It's with the pearls, like wearing that with a pearl necklace and that. It just, again, the subtlety, but it just kind of elevates the look to the next level. The bags, I know I spoke about them, but they're just so cute. And again, storage, super easy. Little, little magnetics. And like we said, environmentally friendly. I don't know, I just love, I loved opening it, like looking fine with a peace of mind. You can see the attention to detail they put into it. It's a nice way to open up a package and you feel good knowing that A, you've got something you can put your jewelry back into, but B, it's not coming in plastic and things like that. Spring sale, buy one, get 40% off. And obviously you can use the code BENSHOUTS20 for 20% off. All the links are down below. Go check them out. Thank you so much, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring the video. Thanks for celebrating spring. Thanks for celebrating Melanie with us. Oof. All right, the first song we've heard, Death. Obviously, yeah, we've heard it, like I just said. I'm keen to go into it. I've only listened to it like twice because I didn't want to really, I guess, get too absorbed into it without having the rest of the album because it really is such an intro song. If you want to go check out my reaction to that, it is on the channel. Not that I didn't like it, I just, I guess, expected more of a bop being a lead single. So that's, I guess, on me for having those expectations. I do, however, know that this is kind of like a big continuation from the K-12 movie, which I have not seen. So that is on me as well. But basically, like, Crybaby has gone. Portals is about Lilith, her spirit guide bringing Crybaby through the portal, I think. So yeah, I've like Crybaby was struggling with family, K-12 was struggles with society, and portals, I mean, I guess I'm gonna deal with whatever issues <laughs> we've got going on in portals. It is pouring down today, so it's kind of poetic that, you know, it's the release day, we're going through a portal, the rain is taking us there. I'm very keen, I also don't wanna hype it up too much. Also, yeah, I just really wanna go in and enjoy it. Crybaby is definitely my favorite album by her, so I'm very keen for this one. But let's start this album, let's go. Okay. See, like, I'm so keen now because we got the whole album. That voice, though. Let's go, cry, baby. <laughs> Yes. 
Let's see if it runs in first. I'm gonna guess it does. Yeah, it does. Okay, I need to pause. Oh my god, I'm so keen for a new song though. Yeah, way better. I don't know if I absorbed the lyrics as much or now, I guess, having a bit of context. But even without that context, you could really take it as, you know, discussing death. Obviously, the song's called Death, but just, you know, people passing on and wanting to be with them again. You know, maybe that's the other person from the other side, you know, calling back. I also know it, so I guess it's got that familiarity and I kind of know what to expect going into it. So I guess in that sense, you kind of can vibe more. But I definitely enjoyed it more this time around. And knowing that, you know, it's the intro to this album, I'm very keen for the rest of the album. Obviously. The next song is called Void. Let's see what we're gonna get. Let's go. absolutely my favorite song so far I know it's song number two but definitely for me that is what I just love about it you get these hard hitting lyrics but then I'm like but I can't help but move because this is just too good not to dance to but obviously when you really focus on lyrics so hitting so hard so relatable and I guess uh, so many of us have felt that way so to have it in a song like this where you can just kind of rock out it's that happy but sad vibe where lyrics are really you know hitting sad and like I just said and the production's really happy <laughs> love that I love the vocal delivery love the weird little noise like that down but the production just so easy. I don't even know what I would class that in terms of like era wise. It's just sounds so fresh and easy. I don't know. That was sick. First song called Void. I loved that it was that. That was cool. Next song is Tunnel Vision. Let's go. Hello, the tunnel, about someone 
such a yeah well this album. Yeah, that was in. Kind of a not weird how some do and some don't. Love that last what minute and a half is just so full on and I guess it kind of just really emphasized the point of the song if it is you know about this talk relationship that I kind of feel that it was. Again I know the songs are all gonna have their own meaning and things like that but I also think they're open to interpretation if you don't know what they mean like me right now. Love that though some hitting lines some yeah definitely would affect some people for sure. I guess a lot of our music is going to because it is so raw and honest and then just you know wrapped up in this cute little stuff sometimes. Love that the tunnel vision very cool very weird ending definitely yeah like i said made it feel like a world and it's just kind of definitely feeling like you need to go from start to finish with this album which i do anyway with the albums but this one just definitely feels like it is this encapsulation which i love next song is fairy sorry sorry not not that i'm a canadian fairy sorry sorry i don't know how to say it so it might be soiree fairy soiree i think let's go <laughs> sense probably my least favorite so far in terms of you know the other songs not a bad song by any means very cute and easy and I guess almost like an interlude kind of vibe I definitely like the second half of it weird though I don't really know what it means per se but I guess I'll find out when you guys let me know down below what the songs are about cool just an easy one I guess yeah nothing like super grabbing for me and I'm keen that it rolls into light shower with the shower noise that's very cool that shower let's go <laughs> So keep it spider. Right, she's getting me, she's getting me in the feels. Love that beautiful little cute adorable love song. Obviously, I'm gonna presume she doesn't mean literally eating, but in saying that melody, you know, it she probably does. I just took that it's like eating some food with or maybe eating them out of or whatever, you know. Love that, so cute, so perfect. Love the metaphors, such a beautiful love song when you found someone who really makes you feel seen and happy and it's not toxic, which you know is the best feeling. When you feel that, you know. What the feelings like so yeah love that song love the relatability i hope everyone out there feels that song now or you get to feel that 
you know, relatability and you get to keep that forever. Number six is my favorite number. Is he gonna give the best song on the album? As soon as I saw there was a song called Spiderweb and it was number six, I was so keen. So I'm really not gonna go in with high hopes because I don't wanna overhype it. So I just hope I like it. Let's go. Definitely not how I thought it was gonna go just from that yak noise before. I It's like this one a metaphor for life and just going through it and then dying. So not what I expected, but so funky. Alright, we're gonna roll into leeches. Leech. Let's just stop there, lady. Very cool that like doo 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 doo. Love that beat there. Very cool lyrics. Like I loved like imagining that it was a spider web, you know, singing a song. Not a spider web, an actual spider. But yeah, I wonder what it actually all means. So I'm very keen to hear what that song's about. Very funky, just kind of like definitely brings you back up in the mood you had from the light shower. Very intriguing that one. Probably the most intriguing lyrically, I guess. Cause I was like, oh, does it mean this? Does it mean that? So yeah, I'm very keen to see what the songs are about afterwards and then go back in with them. My favorite thing is to do, going blind and then research and then, you know, go back to it. Next song is Leeches. Let's go. Again, all the like little noises of this portal world. So very cool. Just like that stuff, like I said, so cohesive and such a yeah, piece of work. I love that. Leech's super sad lyrics. I guess once it clicked in me, I was like, again, it's hard because you get so fixated on her talking about leeches. You're like, no, 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 there's got to be something else here. And if it is about what I think it is, yeah, just so draining and how these people can do this to other people. I've never understood that. Just how people can be in these situations. It's just, yeah, so sad, so horrible, so draining and just like mind boggling that people can do that to other people. Yeah. God, hitting stuff. I'm like, it's such a weird album though because it's so emotively driven. And I know a lot of her stuff is, but this one feels just so dark compared to Cry Baby for me because I love Cry Baby so much. Like that one is such a pop jam drama with the really sad lyrics, whereas this one has that just sense of darkness totally covering the whole thing. So yeah, I like it. Next song is Battle of the Larynx. Let's go. And then you go from that to this. <laughs> I think that's why she's just like really throwing you around so you don't know what's going to happen. Like, let's 
contortionist oh my god battle of the larynx all i got from it was yeah just about i guess douchebag dudes them trying to chat you up just trying to be smooth talkers and i guess them like you know not allowing that to happen or letting themselves kind of like i don't know ruin themselves although she said she'll ruin you if you chase me but she'll be silent till you cross the line very interesting one yeah i'm keen to see what that one's about goes into the contortionist let's go Twisted so well so smoothly the noise as well i hate that cracking noise it just kind of really encapsulated the song and just so perfect about you know getting your power back but still i guess talking about all the bad things that have happened love that that was sick i can't believe we've only got like four songs left this is flying by and a lot of these songs are like four or five minute long yeah wow love that song yeah i just feel like ugh, like just gross but in the cool way because the fact that it can make you feel that way i just love that about the music moon cycle let's go <laughs> Yeah, 
feel like interludes those ones. Oh, straight into it, alright. Doesn't it feel like the album cover is like this huge little foresty world and each song you kind of like walk through the forest and like it's got miniature little worlds like Alice in Wonderland kind of vibe? Just get that feeling from it. Moon Cycle, love it. Like I said, sounds cute. I hope it is cute. I hope it's about it empowering, you know, women being empowered by men and, you know, being supported and things like that when they're going through the stuff. If not, awkward, but I definitely got that feel from it. It made me feel happy. And like I said, it's nice to hear her happy because you don't always get that. Next song is Nymphology, I think. Let's go. on women or in this sense like nymphology but they kind of spell it perfect empowering you just want to be this little pixie fairy bitch running around slicing these dudes love it just love like i said this is the best type of music it's so empowering and i really hope everyone is empowered by this and just remains true to yourself and don't let people change who you are because fuck them next song's evil let's go let's go
having an ending such a perfect little pop rock little song. Oh my god, those lyrics so hitting. Not only can you relate them to your own experiences, I mean most people I'm sure can, but then you think about, you know, other people, you know, that you're close with that have gone through similar things. Hitting is like the best song on the album for me. Absolutely perfect, just perfect pop rock song with the lyrics and just that motivation to overcome it and screw them and just, you know, take back your own power. Again, these last, this last half of the album is so empowering. That song though, absolutely the best song on the album for me. Oh my God, that is the pity party of Crybaby for me in terms of just like connectability, relatability, love, ground breaking, perfect. Shit on it, another clock, another clock, playing, playing. So good. Or the last song, I cannot believe. Like, this is a 52 minute album. That's, you know, generally quite long in the album sense, but this has flown by and what a whirlwind we've gone through. Let's wrap it up with Womb. Let's go. <laughs> I guess it's yeah just about being reborn i mean the lyrics i was like trying to keep up but like what the hell but on its own just like a cute little jivey little song loved it what an album just such a piece like this is you know so conceptualized because obviously you know you got bits of the songs at the end of the songs so if you were listening on repeat you'd probably be a bit annoying in that sense but god where do you even begin death is actually a pretty cool song i like the opening and i kind of knew that once i got into it it was such an intro song while i get it was a lead single i guess it had to be in terms of setting the scene for what was coming i guess it just didn't hit as hard for me you know as a lead single in terms of like normal lead singleness void absolutely loved i'm gonna be hard pressed to figure out what i loved because Everything's meshing in. Spiderweb was really funky. Leeches was cool. It kind of had that like aha moment. The Contortionist, absolutely one of the best for me. Nymphology, I loved. Evil, obviously, like the best song on the album for me. One of the best songs ever. And then Wound, cool. Like they're like the first six or seven that really stand out to me in terms of like here, I really need to go back in. This is definitely going to be a grower album, even more so in terms of like figuring out the songs and really making them have their own identity. Because while obviously they do 13 songs and just kind of like rolling into each other, they all do become like just one piece of work, which is cool, which is why obviously, you know, you've got this portals little world. I'm very keen to see visuals. I do need to see the movies. So I definitely will get onto that at some point. But wow, wow, evil though. I can't get over that. Can't get over evil. Like that will be on repeat for the rest of my life just so good you could almost like turn it up a bit and just have it so much rockier just to really slam home but it kind of is the perfect balance you know, obviously it's just a perfect song to me all right i've got the t from ian he is a melanie stan the x is oliver tree so the x before him was mike when he was the producer of crybaby k12 and summer portals oliver was toxic which you know we kind of definitely got throughout the album he didn't like that she was working with her ex even though the separation was mutual and they remained professional which you know happens to a lot of people he wrote a song about the time he had sex with her and she was on a period which there's the period song and you know finding i guess someone who supports that or doesn't gross you up because it's a natural thing so got that he released cowboys don't cry which referenced carousel the whole album cowboys tears is about melanie lol 
<laughs> what an obsessed dude. She also wrote and produced Void by herself, Slay. That was one of the best songs as well. Most supporters of Allover and the Moon Cycle is about the period situation, yeah, which makes perfect sense. Battle of the Larynx will probably have visuals of her revisiting how Crybaby dies in K12 and it's going back to FDC, UNT's up. Lol. Don't know if you know what a nymph is, but it's a fertile lady who is immortal but usually lives longer than other women and is basically at the disposal of men in the Greek mythology. That's where Nympho comes from. Yeah, right. So again, it's like these women who are so powerful that men then have to bring down, which I got as well. So yeah, I'm loving that it was easy to understand in some aspects, but so deep in what it's about. Definitely got that though, like, you know, this toxicity and then like reclaiming it and taking that power back. So very cool. And I guess that makes sense with Crybaby dying. It's like a relationship dying and being reborn. And I guess that's you becoming single and finding yourself again. Very clever, very cool. Love it. So in depth, so conceptual. This feels like her most conceptual album. While the others did, this feels all as one. And obviously, the, you know, the flow into songs helps that, but it just, you go on the journey and you feel everything she's feeling and come out the other end feeling like, I'm ready, I'm reborn and I'm ready to, you know, take on the world. Love. What do you guys think? You guys are gonna have a lot to say, I'm sure. Let me know down below. Not what I expected, so surprised, so glad I just connected with it and understood it and took it all in. And you know, I think it's the most connectable album in that sense. You've gotta have a bit of the backstory, but like I said, you don't need to because you can still understand it from your own, you know, experiences and contexts. Very awesome, I loved it. Again, I wanna thank Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video, for giving me these little fine, elegant, unique, sustainable jewelry. I love it so much. I hope you guys too. Go check out their website. Their spring sale, buy one, get 40% off or use the code Ben shouts 20 to get 20% off your order. Yeah, I really hope you guys check them out. I love the support they're giving me and yeah, I just love the products that they're making. The Fallen Cut is on Patreon, link is down below. Come join my Discord, we'll, which we're chatting about portals as I as we speak. Go check out my other Melanie videos, go check out my other videos if you want. Hit like and subscribe, all that jazz. Other than that, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go.